Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at Wildcat Special Number One with art by Travis Truss. All right, so I guess this is written by Steve Gerber. He doesn't get cover credit, which is kind of sad because uh, he's the only, you know, like the creator of Howard the Duck and uh, stuff like that. So anyway, this is early work from Travis Charest. Charest when um, Wildstorm stole him from DC Comics. Um, and uh, he started, well, he started out kind of like a Jim Lee clone, and you can see a lot of that going on in here, but there's always been something special about his art, despite that. Um, I talk about clones, sometimes clones are artists who usually start out pretty much copying or resembling another artist style that is one of their big influences, and a lot of times that helps get artists into the industry, you know, maybe on a book that uh, the artists they emulate had already worked on, since they know it works for fans and that's what fans kind of want. I think people think, I think, think I'm being negative when I talk about clones, but usually clones. I mean, if you look at this, you see all the heavy Jim influ Lee influences, but he, Travis went on to develop his own um, distinct, unique style and just like really make it work for him. Like, you know, arguably like beyond Jim Lee's ability, but you know, art is subjective. So it's a matter of taste, but um, as much as his style evolved and everything, he was started out so strong. And even as a Jim Lee clone, I mean, this is such a beautiful aesthetic and desirable um, look to his art. Um, so Jim Wildcats was Jim Lee's property, the one he, launched when starting Limit Image Comic when the uh, Marvelous Seven left to form their own creator-owned um, line of comics. And they were kind of criticized for just creating a bunch of superheroes, but I don't get that at all because they, they are superstar, superhero comic book artists, and they love to draw superheroes. So why would they leave and draw Westerns or romances or horror books or something like that. I mean, give him some credit, right? But as you can see, so, uh, inks by Scott Williams, Sal Ragla, Trevor Scott, Alex Sinclair, Michael Fetchy, colors by Joe Chiodo, letters by Michael Heisler. Um, but anyway, I mean, this is just so, some great, like, killer, Travis Stress art here. It's so weird because uh, there's quite a bit of art here. This is like a double-sized issue. He did a ton of stuff for Jim Lee and Wildcats. I remember this uh, image is so cool. I want to say there's another book that this is from. I'll have to see if I can dig it up. But I mean, just look at that art. This is like early Travis Stress and it's just so beautiful. And, you know, Image had so many great artists and they really did... Um, help polish and uh, launch a lot of great artists in spite of their own, or I think that's what I need to say, in spite of their own, you know, great talents. So this is fun. I'm so glad I have this. I love his art. It's so cool to look at. Um, you know, he went digital a few years ago and really changed up his style a lot to a lot of criticism, really. But um, he's finding his footing. And I always support when an artist tries to branch out and try something new and work different artistic muscles. That as an artist, you always have to do what inspires you. This is early Tom Rainey work. It's so funny because uh, um, you see the potential here, and he just got so much better than that, so it was fun to see him grow. Here's a pin-up by Richard Johnson, who, I don't know, maybe he started with Wildstorm and never really went anywhere. I don't recall seeing his name too much, but of note is it's inked by Kevin Nolan, and how cool would that be to be like a newbie comic book artist and have your work inked by Kevin Nolan? So that's a fun Wildcats uh, special edition with art by the great Travis Charest and written by Steve Gerber. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and I'll bring you some more content later. All right, thanks, guys.